some kind of beer festival, I think. Ulla and Bjorn have brought me here and introduced me to some of their friends and there are people jamming on all kinds of strange instruments and it's great fun! I have a gig at 7 o'clock in the morning, but this is a band called The Pirates, so, you know, I'm here. This song is about their D&D &D characters, who are attractive and very important. When they win missions, they get to keep the pretty girls. I just finished a half-day morning shoot. First shoot of, I think it's day five. Now. And this was the location. Look how pretty it is. We used drones and we got interrupted by other people with drones. It was a great day for droning. Artists often tell me that print sales are poor. But this drone is worth 21 times what I paid for my car. And here's the photographer showing me the pose. Then we have some long exposures of mine and a couple of back of camera shots of what he took today. There is a lot of blood on the floors at this home studio and he's asked me to stay back here because his mom doesn't know that I'm here. Now you know I'm keen on the scary locations. Uh, but this is up there. I finished my shoot here. He was really respectful. And I did not die at all. Alongside, I tried to tune and play a violin full of honey. Today, I tried to put on a morph suit without touching carpet full of blood. Tomorrow, I'm driving nine hours to Brisbane. Honestly, looking forward to the break. This is some behind the scenes on the honey shoot. We thought we had planned everything to keep the studio clean, and then Mia happened. This is Ulla and Bian's shop where our pictures will end up. That's their framing machine. This is their studio, and that's a picture of Ella Rose on the floor. Between Ulla, Bjorn, and I, we've taken 21 gig of photos in this room over the last week. I reckon about seven of them are really bad. Seven photos, not seven gig. This is a little selection of mine. Ulla and Bjorn are going to send some of theirs to me, so we'll get some of theirs soon too. A GPS will inform you that this is a nine hour drive. That is not the case at all. Brisbane is a lot more than nine hours from the rest of Australia.
I've just stopped at a truck stop for only the second time today. I've been driving for about 11 hours. I've got just over an hour to go. Brisbane is a really long way away from everywhere.